Hi guys, welcome to another video of our Marine Technical Training Academy. Today we are going to talk about the, the replacement of a, an engine in a sailboat, specifically a diesel engine. Uh, I receive a lot of uh, phone calls and emails related with the, the procedure to repower and re, uh, replacement of uh, engines in boats. Uh, in this particular video, I am going to explain the procedure to replace a diesel engine for other one different brand. In this particular uh, example, we are going to remove uh, four Lehman uh, engine, diesel engines, three cylinders with a V-drive uh, transmission. And uh, we are going to replace that engine for a VEDA. Uh, we select the VEDA engine uh, with the same capacity. What is the, the secret when you try to do that, uh, that uh, replacement? Uh, you need to verify, number one, the horsepower of uh, the original engine. You need to try to find an other engine with a similar horsepower, a little higher is better. And uh, other thing is uh, the, uh, the transmission. Uh, if uh, the original is with a straight transmission, the other one should be straight, of course. And uh, the gear ratio, the gear ratio and the output torque in foot pounds. You need the, that the new engine have the same horsepower or a little higher and the same output torque or a little higher and of course similar gear ratio this is the most important part in this particular case uh, this is a sailboat 41 uh, 41 feet of uh, one of uh, my students uh, seven years ago uh, Marco Pino great student uh, we remove uh, the original engine with uh, him and Anna uh, the engine from the boat. Yes, that was the process, it was nice. We removed the engine and uh, now we select uh, the appropriate engine. We check in internet different manufacturers, uh, Janmar, Perkins and, uh, and Beda. And uh, the winner was uh, Beda because the price because uh, uh, the space in the engine room pretty close to the original for Lehman and uh, this was uh, the moment when uh, the new beta engine arrived uh, to the home of uh, Marco. You know where is in there? It's the motor for our new home. For your new home? Yeah. Si. Yeah. ¿Cuáles son sus pronósticos, Mr. López? Uh, that it's a red one. Yeah. Little <laughs> and smell like new one. <laughs> <laughs> ta -tan, ta -tan. Yeah. Now. Please, camera. <laughs> Qué chiquita. Wow. It's the same engine used. Okay, and now with the new engine, uh, we analyze the engine uh, and I explain to Marco and Anna all the components of the engine. We need to we need take a measurement internally in the boat in order to verify where is located the water line. If the water line is, for example, over this point, we need to extend the anti siphon. Minimum according with the ABYC 12 inches uh -huh. over the water line. You remember that? Yeah. That's, this is the anti siphon. We disconnect that one and we extend. This engine is not turbocharged. Yes. Normally, in this point, you have the turbocharger. Uh, where the yeah. air. But this is a natural aspiration. That's the exhaust. That's the muffler. Muffler. Water separator. Yeah. Look, this is the thermostat housing. That's the input of the, of the raw water pump coming from the sea car. Mm. And that's the plate, look, the plate of the raw water pump. Okay. That's the plate that you, re uh, that you remove to replace the impeller normally. You can prime with the handle priming pump or with the electrical that you install yeah, with the ignition cable. And they have other priming pump manual, look. Priming. Oh. And the input of the fuel is here and the fuel pass through the fuel filter and enter in the fuel injection pump. And this is the throttle. 
look they have the uh, the handle to connect to connect the extension of the cable and this is an emergency stop you connect one cable in the console and when you oh, pull you the cable you stop the engine and this is the bracket uh, for the transmission cable the transmission cable enter here look it's neutral forward and reverse uh -huh. neutral forward and reverse and the cable enter here pass through here and enter over there and it's very simple that the, the return the return to the fuel tank and that's the input of the fuel uh, from coming from the fuel tank remember that the fuel only 20 percent is used in the combustion uh -huh. and 80 percent return into the tank that's the star motor come on i explain this is the positive this is the big positive coming from the switch selector the uh -huh. red one uh -huh. enter over there and this is the signal this is the signal that is the yellow red connected with the start position in the ignition switch that one not the yellow red uh, this is the oil pressure sensor and this is the temperature sensor uh, because we are, we are going to install additional gauge the gauge they have three terminals ignition signal and ground the signal is coming from this point and coming from this point signal for the oil pressure sensor and signal for the coolant temperature sensor that fuse is um, is for a emergency during the cranking and this is uh, if uh, something is wrong in the harness mm -hmm. that's it uh, they have the, the, main, the main tachometer and the tachometer is digital and they have a oil pressure temperature in, in that square area. You connect the harness at that point, you put the battery positive here, negative here, and bingo. Exactly. And uh, after that, we create the jig with wood, according with the distance in between the motor mounts and uh, the distance uh, in between the, the stringers in the boat and we create the jig. With the jig, uh, we order pieces of uh, aluminum in order to create the new brackets on the stringers and we modify the stringers uh, in fiberglass, we cut it, we modify the stringers for the new engine. That was the procedure. In the boat, we are going to suppose that this is the stringer. Uh, in between the stringer and the bracket, we are going to put the flexible mount with the rubber. You have the flexible mount? Yeah. These are the flexible motor mounts we were talking about. Yeah. So that oh, the, I understand when now. the engine is vibrating, it kind of distributes the vibration a little bit and doesn't shake the whole boat. Yeah, it it's, an, it's an, an, like a chuck absorber. So now the goal for the next week is to prepare everything to drop the engine on the boat. The old Westerbeek was a much bigger and wider engine than the new Beta, although they both produced the same horsepower. This means that the stringers of the boat are currently too wide to rest the engine on. As you can see, there's empty space on both sides. With that in mind, the dealer was kind enough to send us some aluminum brackets, which we're going to bolt to our original stringers to cover the necessary space. To make sure we're going to get the right fit, we took measurements and used the engine drawings to make a plywood jig of our engine and get a glance of how the final fit's supposed to look like. It was work, but much nicer work than grinding things and working with fiberglass. Unfortunately, these two things are still not out of our list. The stringers need an increase in height a little bit on the back side to correctly match the brackets we're going to bolt to them. This includes grinding out the new paint, screwing on a piece of oak or hard wood, then fiberglassing it all together. Lesson learned, do not paint the engine room before making sure you don't need to work on your stringers. Sounds obvious, doesn't it? Well, now it does. Right. And uh, finally, after some adjustment of, of the brackets and the motor mounts, the engine was properly located in position and uh, we aligned the coupling of uh, the, the transmission with the coupling uh, originally of the chaff. Exactly, they matched properly. We do the alignment. You remember the procedure to, to align both couplings? That procedure. Okay, and uh, simple, right now the engine is ready uh, to start the sea trail. If you want to see the full video about the data procedure in the boat of Marco Pino, please visit the link of our Proyecto Infinito, the project of Marco Pino. Marco rebuilt data boat completely from the beginning to the end. And after that, he traveled with the, with the new sailboat. Uh, this is a nice project. If you want to visit 
the link of Marco Pino and you can see this video and other videos uh, that uh, Marco create related with the reparation, the, the new construction of the sailboat. Enjoy!